Hey guys, welcome back to Brown Plastic Surgery. Dr. Brown here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today I wanna to do some pretty cool things with, to show you or with you. I wanna show you some techniques in suturing, um, some of the different types of suture that we do in the operating room because that's a very popular question. And uh, I'm gonna open up this basic plastic surgery tray, which is gonna kind of have some of the basic things that we need for just closing lacerations, doing little procedures, flaps, things like that. So let's open the tray and show you what's on the inside here. We sterilize this for the office. This is just a, a regular basic, basic old tray. We're gonna pull the basket out here and set that down. Um, and then I'm going to open this up and reveal some of the basic stuff that we use. So what you'll find in almost any kit, number one is the sterilization card to let you know that everything is sterile and good to go. Um, every, every kit has a knife handle. So here's a knife handle. Um, every kit has a pair of, these are called straight iris scissors. Iris scissors are thin, long, sharp. These are straight. We have a pair of curved that we'll show you in a minute. These are good for cutting suture, very small suture. Um, the next basic thing that I'll need is a needle driver. This is called a needle driver, and these come in different lengths and sizes. They come shorter, they come longer. This is your typical six inch, which is one of my favorite needle drivers. So we need that to, to throw a stitch. And then the next most important item is gonna be the Addison forceps. The Addison's forceps or forceps, they come with teeth or without teeth. So we call them smooth or with teeth. We use them with teeth when we're trying to actually grip tissue, stuff that we wanna hold on to. Smooth are good for something like taking out sutures where we don't want the teeth to grab onto a stitch when we're trying to take it out. So this is, this is Addison's with teeth and that's what I use mostly when I suture. Now the other things in the kit here that I probably won't use or we won't use today that I'll show you are we have a variety of types of hooks that we like to use. These are narrow hooks, these are wide hooks, and these are hooks that we use to actually hold the skin or hold an incision open while we're trying to work beneath or to hold it up when we're trying to do something in the operating room. Um, so I'm gonna put those over here. Um, these are um, some heavier scissors. Um, and these we use to cut heavier, bigger suture. We won't need those today. Um, this is a second pair with teeth that we don't need as well. Um, and that is about it. These are the curved iris that I was alluding to. So if you wanna see the difference between the straight and the curved iris, one has straight teeth and one has curved teeth, and we use those for different things. Sometimes in, in the operating room when we're doing facial cosmetic surgery, like in blepharoplasties, we might want the curved the curved iris because we're trying to curve them to dissect around a corner and somewhere that's a little bit easier than you can get to with the straight iris scissors. Um, and then there's a variety of other types of, of scissors. These are called Littler scissors. These are blunt tip or those are sharp tip. Um, and, and, and again, we just use these for different things in the operating room that you don't have to waste your time knowing. This is a smaller needle driver, so this would be a four inch. Um, or called a Webster, it's a smaller one, and this is a, a six inch or a bigger needle driver. So again, I like the longer needle driver because I have long, long fingers and I can control it better. The little one becomes a little too chunky in my hand and I can't really maneuver it and do, so I don't use it very often. And then here's the second pair of wide um, hooks. So that's everything that's in my basic tray that I use in the office.